Today's video is to teach you how to do stairs and stringers with carpet. Alright, step one, you can be measured the length and the width of your stringers. So you can take a tape measure, start at the top of your stringer, and measure down to the bottom. My measurement is seven foot four. So you always want to cut your carpet just a little bit long. So I'll probably cut that at about seven six or seven foot eight, something like that. Give me just a little bit of play in case I cut myself short. Uh, width on this side, you're gonna measure from the center to the stairs down to the corner in the stair itself. And here I've got nine and a half inches. So I got my width. I'm going to need nine and a half inches. I have a nail, which I will use to run through the rows of the carpet to open the rows up so I can cut it straight line. So I'll make a mark at nine and a half inches. And then I'm also going to make a mark at the length so I know how much length to cut. And we said seven foot six, seven foot eight, somewhere in there. So I'll go seven foot six. So just make a little, little cut in the end there. Just kind of make a little mark so you know where to stop. follow that row we just opened up. And that's my first stringer piece. All right, so now we have our piece. I'm gonna get it set up on here. Uh, the tools you're gonna need at this point are gonna be your uh, electric hammer tacker. Preferably one with a, a thin tip, not a wide, wide head tip on that, and I'll tell you why. So, position your, your carpet up at the top. Take your hammer tacker and wiggle it down into the surface of the carpet so it's not trapping any fibers under the, under the head when you staple. I always want to wiggle that thing in so it doesn't, doesn't staple down the thing. So if you don't do that, you're going to have little dimples all the way down your carpet. To come down to the bottom next, pull the carpet tight. Again, making sure it's all the way up against the wall. Wiggle the tip into the carpet. Throw a couple steps. You're a good wiggler. So now I'm just going to go all the way up with the stacker, put a staple about every one to two inches, preferably every one inch. You can never put too many staples in there, um, provided you make sure you're not trapping the fibers down. Your first cut is going to go right to the edge of the stringer at this point right here. You're going to cut the carpet right to that point right there because you got it's got a fold obviously down that down that angle. Put your cut away from behind, cut straight, and then finish your cut right to the corner. The uh, the rest of the stairs you don't want to cut all the way to the to the edge of the stringer here. You want to leave it out about an inch because you got to wrap down this. You don't want to cut right here. So I'm gonna put my knife in there about an inch back. Same thing, cut straight back. Fold that down. Yeah, like that. that's pretty good. Use my tucker. Push that carpet down into the, the crack or the joint, you know, this spot right here. And then I'm gonna push it into this spot right there. Got that, take your tacker. Now you don't have to be quite so neat with these staples because the carpet on the stairs is going to cover up the joint. But you want to get that right up onto the edge of the carpet. There. There we 
again, don't be shy with the staples. You can never have too many staples in there. I do the same thing with the, the riser piece. You're gonna push that riser right into the corner. Take your staple gun. Now, if your carpet's kind of thick or real stiff and hard to work with, sometimes it kind of puffs out right there in the middle. You can take your attacker and oh my shoulder. Just put a little sticker right there in the middle. Bam, hold it in. So that's the first one. Now after that. Of course, you're going to take and cut off the excess. And that's your first uh, first one there. The fun part was going to be getting this thing down. I'm going to cut it a little shorter so it's easier to manage. I'm going to cut the length along the floor. Staples right into the corner. Hold that together. Cut the excess off underneath the around the stair piece itself right there. Hey Ben, you know you're pretty smart. Man. And that's the bottom of the stairs. So now we've got that bend right there, so I am going to take my cut to that point. Wow. Right, for the next step, you need a hammer, some tin snips, and, uh, and some tack strip. Now the tack strips I've already cut to length, but you'll take your tin snips and cut them to the length of the whatever cut you need. Now, in this case, it's the stairs. I want to make sure I've got just a little bit of room to maneuver, so I cut them about a half inch short. So if my measurement's 36 inches, I'm going to cut them 35 and a half. When you nail them in, you want about a fingertip width away from, from the wall. And I'm going to do that all the way across. Do you have a silencer? I do not. No. Uh, there's two different ways to do these two. Um, there's two different types of, of ways you carpet stairs. You have uh, waterfalls and you have uh, Hollywoods. So you have waterfalls and Hollywoods. Waterfalls is when the carpet comes and just wraps down and comes straight down into the, into the joint. When you do that, you're gonna want a second tack strip right here, because you're gonna tuck that in there and that's what's gonna hold the riser tight. The stairs that we're doing today are Hollywoods. And the Hollywoods wrap around the stair nose and come straight down, so we don't need that second tack strip right there. 
the direction the tack strip is laying is also very important. I don't know if you can see it, but the little nails that are in here are, are on an angle. So they're angled this way. You obviously want to make sure that the angle is going into the, into the riser so the carpet will come onto a hook and it won't pull out. So next step is going to be putting pad on the stairs. Um, so my stair width is uh, about 36 and a half inches, so I'm going to cut it just a hair short. So probably about 36 inches. Um, but if you can cut it a bit longer because you can always trim out sides, it's pretty easy. I'll probably make it about 38 inches. And since I don't want to cut on this nice floor, I'm going to cut on top of the rail. You're going to want a good sharp blade. Cut that down the... Right down there. That'll give you your first cut. Of... <laughs> so the tools you need now, it's a hammer tacker with staples and a knife. So what I'm going to do work my way up the stairs, a little easier that way. Right. Now again, the difference between Hollywoods and waterfalls, the waterfalls again, where the carpet just comes right over and doesn't wrap. For that, you would take the, the pad, put it on the tread, wrap across the tread on like this. Whereas with the Hollywoods, the uh, uh, pad stops even with the edge of the stair nose. So since we're doing Hollywoods, we're only doing the tread itself. We're not wrapping around the nose of the stair. Step. All right, so these are the stairs now padded. The next step is going to be to cut the carpet. So the first thing for that is to determine the width of the carpet. You want to make sure that you're butted tight into the stringer on this side and butted tight the stringer on that side. Otherwise you wind up with you know, gaps running up the stairs and that never looks good. So I got 36 and a half. I'll probably make it 36 and 5 eighths just to be safe. So that's my width of the stairs. Let's pull over the carpet here and measure. Right, so I'm going to measure 36 five eighths. Okay, so now I've got my piece cut with the width for the stairs. Uh, the important thing to know is which direction the nap is laying, because nap will lay in one direction. You can obviously tell by running your hand across it and seeing how it lays. So it basically, it lays up going this way. That's the way you want it on the stairs. As you walk up the stairs, when you come up the stairs, you want that nap to come up as you're walking up. So I'm gonna roll my carpet from that because it's gonna go to the top down to the bottom. So I'm gonna roll it up. This is your kicker. Tucker, those are the next two important tools here. Now your kicker, you want to make sure your teeth are out. Otherwise, the combs are just going to shred the, the nap of the carpet. Um, so the first step is going to be that step, the bottom step lined up. Tack it down. About every inch or so. Staple up underneath the, the lip of the steering wheel. Steering wheel. And you want to put a lot of staples in there because now what we're going to do is kick that step onto the tack strip. And when you're kicking those step, you start in the middle, work your way up to the sides. If you start on one side and kick over, the whole length of your carpet is going to want to do this, or the opposite if you're going from the opposite side. Start in the middle, pick out in the middle, 
Go this way, go that way, that way your carpet stays straight going up the stairs. Tucker. Tacker to push that carpet up underneath that steering nose. So you put it in and give it a little push. That kind of helps push that carpet right in that crevice so you're getting that nail on there. That helps keep your carpet straight. Alright, I'm take the tucker and just kind of tuck in the corners a little bit. And you have a nice enough stick. Now I'm starting to get a little bit this way, so I'm gonna start on this end with the kicker and kick over this way to kind of shift it back over. Just a little bit, so I'm tight right here and just a little bit loose right there. And I'm gonna angle my kicker just a little bit as I go. As you're kicking, you can see I have my kicker and my hand right next to it. The hand is holding the carpet onto this hack strip where I just kicked. So I'll kick, move, kick, move, kick, move. All right, so now we're at the end of the stairs. We wrap all the stairs. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is cut this off right underneath here. That way when we do the landing, the landing's gonna wrap over and that's what's gonna attach this portion of the landing. So that's your first half a no, half a flight of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done, that's it.